Okay, so today we're gonna to show you how to treat this molluscum contagiosum dermatologic condition using this cantharidin salicylic acid compound. A couple things to note, it's a vi pretty viscous solution, so you've gotta shake it up to make sure that it's evenly constituted. And it's also helpful if you have a larger needle. This is an 18 gauge needle. Compared to when we tried it with a 25 gauge needle, it completely clotted it. And this is a one ml syringe and it wasn't sufficient. So now we've got a 10 ml syringe, which is more than we need and a larger gauge needle. And now it should draw back easily. You can see that it is an evenly mixed um, solution. So I'm gonna put just a little drop on top here. Just gonna gently touch the area. And you can That's see enough. just a little bit come out. I'm gonna put just a little bit on each side. That was probably a little much. I've got another uh, paper towel here just to draw up anything excess. And it dries very quickly. We're gonna do one down here. Okay, so now that we've got that applied, it dries pretty quick and you'll see a white coating on top indicating that it's dried. I'm just gonna put on this Tegaderm on top and this just makes sure, ensures that it stays in place while she's still a pretty active kid. Wants to go run around and go to soccer practice. So I keep her from scratching it and touching it. So just two Tegaderms right there. So one thing to note on treating this is she got it treated last month. It helped some, but it can be re reapplied once a month until you have complete resolution of this, uh, of these bumps. It's gonna blister over. If you put on too much, it'll have an even bigger blister, but you'll note that she will have blisters over each of these, these areas. Another key reminder, yes, I have a needle tip, but that's only so I can apply a very small drop onto each wound. I'm not actually injecting or touching the skin with this. I'm just using this as an applicator.